So can you can you tell me about what do you understand by site reliability engineering? Um, so I think uh, that means that the site should be highly available and should be disaster should be able to recover self heal itself in case of disaster so that the disaster recovery mechanism should there uh, should be there and like what we were doing that we were putting uh, we were uh, monitoring our applications and we were also um, like for the per performance we were doing cloud watch metric cloud watch logs and cloud watch uh, um you know alarms if our stay if our ideal uh, situation was not met so we would do uh, would we would take actions like lambda functions or like mailing to the um support team that we are having we might have this issue and this system is in critical state so we would immediately go to the um infrastructure and look through it look through the logs and fix it right away if if uh, like we would do automation wherever possible but if not we would uh, send the alarms to the operations team so that they are uh, available on back call so can you can... okay now have you heard of these terms sli slo and sla uh, yes can you tell so, me so... Sorry. Uh, so service level indicators, service level agreement, and service level objectives. So uh, indicator is to like uh, to define which indicators should be met. Uh, with the indicators that define the uh, the quality of the application and the standard of the application. SLA that is the agreement that would within which the incident which is reported that should be resolved and slo that is the end objective of the of the uh, response that we have provided and it should be met so that like the customer is satisfied with the response and how how do you measure each of them uh, so like in accenture we were as part of the support team so for production our sla response time would have uh, was uh, two hours so if you are not able to resolve that uh, incident in two hours in production then it would be escalated to the next uh, our next manager and then uh, other team members like it was cross-functional team so uh, developers team would also get involved so i think that is the sla if you are not able to uh, do it and resolve it and test it that they are that the application is running then it will be a breach of the contract agreed uh tell me about uh, what's the difference between an rto and rpo uh so rto is time recovery objective and rpo is recovery point objective so recovery point objective it will like an incident has happened and the recent backup that we have so uh, that would be the uh, point from where we can recover till that point we can recover our data so the data loss that happens between that last backup and the uh, when the failure happened that is the rpo so the latest backup and the data that we can recover and rto is like when the failure has happened and when we are able to recover our system so that time lapse between them that is the rto and it should be uh, like it, you can define a term for that and it should like there's also mttr so maximum time to recovery so after that it would be actually like escalation uh, and that's the max time you can bear the system to be down but you have to recover it in within that maximum time okay 